myself right now. <laughs> I want you guys to guess. Guess what's in this package. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. We are currently still here in lockdown in Amsterdam, but don't worry, more Amsterdam videos are coming your way. But for now, I have a bit of an extension of Vlogmas because I finally received a package that I was supposed to get in December. It took almost two months to get here from Norway. Yeah, I can't believe it either, but it's here and I'm really excited to open it. So my friend and I exchanged gifts and they are gifts based on where we live. So she lives in Norway and her name is Sylvia. She runs Heart My Backpack, the very popular blog and YouTube channel. So go check her out. Her links will be down below and of course at the end of the video. And I sent her a package as well. So if you wanna check out what I sent her from Amsterdam, go check out her video. Again, links down below and at the end of the video. But now I have absolutely no idea what is in this. It's kind of squishy, it's very light. Um, let's just dive right in, shall we? <laughs> if you hear a lot of knocking or anything, it's because for some reason, everybody's decided to renovate their house right now. I have to ask, is anybody else scared to use scissors when opening packages? I'm always afraid like I'm gonna cut something. I try to be very gentle. So everything was supposed to have to do with Christmas. So sad that it's a little late, but we all know, I think most of the world had issues getting posts sent and received. We actually just figured it was lost in the mail, but then it just showed up. I'm gonna have fun popping this bubble wrap later. Anybody else love popping bubble wrap? I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, okay. First of all, take a look at this wrapping paper. This is like the cutest ever. Is that upside down? No, it was right side up. Go me. <laughs> These are so cute. I can't believe it gets unwrapped too. I feel so bad. I did not wrap hers. Sorry. Okay. Oh, should I check the card first? I think I'll check the card first. I do not know how to say this. I'm guessing it means Merry Christmas in Yule Hilsen. I don't know. I guess she'll tell me. <laughs> Aww. Okay, it was just a nice personal little card. So um, that's just for me. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, I love presents, I love surprises. Oh my gosh, I have, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. If you know me like in person, you know that I cry at everything, happy, sad, angry, doesn't matter, I'm gonna cry about it. I have wanted something like this for ages. My grandmother had a big one and I don't really like big, um, seasonal things that you have to keep all year. So this is so perfect. So what it is, is it's a little tea light at the bottom and I have tons of those. And then it, it spins at the top because of the energy that the, the light gives off. Sylvia, thank you so much, oh my gosh. I cannot wait until next Christmas to use this. Okay. Next up. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try to guess. My grandfather and I used to have this thing where if I could guess it, he would give me $5. <gasps> I never did guess anything right, so. Okay, I'm gonna say tea? Sounds like tea. I was right, who's giving me $5? <laughs> actually, if you wanna support this channel like that, I actually have a Patreon. My last video has all the details about it. And for five euro, which eh, five-ish dollars, you actually get access to exclusive videos and live streams. So you can always check that out. But I can't believe I was right. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can kind of read it. Sort of. Okay, so Norwegian and Dutch is similar-ish, ish. So I don't know what the first word is, but it says apple and skull. So I'm guessing some sort of apple, mandlor, which I think is almond, um, apple beater, I don't know, kor blomstre, I think that's um, corn flour, and then cinnamon and aroma. So I got a couple of those ingredients. I am so proud of myself right now. <laughs> so I'm making this tea right after this video. So cool, thank you. Sylvia actually spent last Christmas with us here in Amsterdam and that was so much fun. And we made like a Christmas market mug to, to celebrate the occasion. So I'm gonna have that in one of my Christmas mugs. Guessing time again. 
feel like it's also something wrapped in bubble paper. So I can't tell. Squishy. Oh, yay! I'm just piling up my stuff here. I hope nobody's upset about that. These are wool socks. I have talked to her all the time about how do you stay warm in Norway? Cause I just don't understand it. You rarely see her with a jacket on unless it's raining. Um, so I'm always curious. So these are wool socks and they're gorgeous. Look at that. Great pattern. I'm eventually gonna get a Norwegian sweater. Cannot wait. There's something in the sock. It's a chocolate Santa. It's a milk chocolate Santa. And the important thing about this is it's Freya. And that is Sylvia's favorite chocolate company, I believe. When I went to visit her and we met up in Oslo, she told me how oh, this is like the best chocolate in the world. And while we may still argue about that, I can't wait to eat my Santa. Sorry, Santa. <laughs> okay, there's one more. I have no idea. Okay, I want you guys to guess. Guess what's in this package? In the comments. All right, ready? I'm gonna guess an ornament, because she knows I love to collect ornaments. She brought us one last year. Think I'm right? Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. And it has weight to it. I was expecting it to be kind of like a painted egg or something, but it actually has some good weight to it. And it has shrimps on it and a reindeer with, I think an elf on it. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. She knows me so well. Um, I haven't taken my tree down yet. So, okay. Short story. If you watched Vlogmas, you know that I broke one of the family heirlooms from Sean's family. So <laughs> I decided they were not going back the same way that they were packaged before this Christmas. And I thought I had ordered like one of those nice plastic boxes where you can um, put the ornaments in. Instead, I ordered a plastic box of plastic ornaments. So I still have to order another box, which really sucks. So now I have a box of plastic ornaments. So if anybody in Amsterdam wants them, let me know. As a recap, I have a beautiful ornament here, which I absolutely love. Wool socks, Norwegian wool socks. This is amazing. A chocolate Santa, some festive tea, and the cutest little candle holder ever. I absolutely love it. So if you want to see what I got Sylvia, and of course now I'm like, I hope she likes what I got because I absolutely love what she gave me go check out her channel. I will leave the link right next to my head so you can just head on over and watch her video right now. Let her know in the comments that you came from over here and I wish you guys a wonderful day and happy travels when it's safe to travel again and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!